was amazed by how fast Saul Grace jumped. She was the first to take radical fashion out of its predictable Parisian context and bring it into the music scene, where I had always thought it belonged. The first night watching her at Lainwish, I already had decided to work with her. That night, she was singing her hit song, I Need a Man, to a room full of shrieking and gay Bobby Soxers. The ambiguity of her act was that she herself looked like a man. A man singing, I need a man, to a bunch of men. I could see how the average guy could get a little scared by her physical appearance. It was so powerful. I thought she was. I thought she was great. I photographed her in different positions. I cut her legs apart, lengthened them, turned her body to face the audience. Soon, I found myself living to the very fast rhythm of Grace Jones. We would go out dancing all night. Neglecting my work. An intense hysterical romance developed between Grace and me. When I ran out of money, I realized I had to stop all this bullshit and go back to work. I had this idea of using Grace as the ideal vehicle for my work. She had inspired me. On a tour, we used to improvise, thinking of an idea at breakfast and working it out directly on stage. Decided deliberately to mythologize Grace Jones. Black, shiny, muscular people are uh, aerodynamic in design. It was to emphasize this belief that I painted Grace Jones blue.
This is addressed to people who have the intention to work. But clearly, it is addressed to those people. It is intended to be accepted and acted upon.
Tempo es la sucia. Tempo es la sucia.